Hey guys, it's your favorite Black Youth Thought here, and today we're doing a look inspired by Red Velvet's new mini album called Queendom. Uh, they have really cool and fun makeup looks in this, so I kind of wanted to just take a mix of all of them and try out something new today. So if that interests you, then just keep on watching. To start off, to get a nice glowy base, I'm using the Cover Effects Custom Drops, and I'm just applying that under my foundation uh, before actually blending it i'm using some setting spray and just a stippling brush just to blend everything in next i'm using just some regular brow pomade i kind of did my makeup in a very weird um uh steps this time so just don't mind that but i'm just filling inside my brows quite lightly um you'll see later that i really brush them out so that they look nice and fluffy and not too defined To keep my brows in place for the whole day, I'm using a little bit of hair gel and I'm just brushing my brow hairs up so that they have a more fluffy look. Next, I am spot concealing under my foundation. Uh, this concealer basically matches me exactly, so I'm just covering any little imperfection that I see just so that my base looks super nice and flawless. I'm taking a stippling brush and I'm trying to pat like the concealer so that it stays in its place and I have the most coverage as much as possible. Uh, you could also do this by just waiting for your concealer to set a little bit before blending it out, but I would had no time. I was so impatient, uh, so I didn't do it this time. Um, next, I'm using a glowy foundation. Uh, this is a Laurie Mercier one, and just with a Dirty Beauty blender, I'm blending that out. taking that same LA Girl concealer as I did before. Now I'm going under the eyes. I try not to put foundation under my eyes anymore as I do find it like makes the stuff under my eyes cake up a little bit more. Uh, so yeah. Next, uh, this is just a lighter concealer. I'm adding just a little bit, just the highlight, and I'm putting that also on the high points of my face. Using the same stippling brush as I used before just to blend out uh, the highlights and for under my eyes I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender to blend that out. Next, I'm taking a neutral mauve pink color. This is a liquid lipstick, but today we're basically just gonna use this all over our face. Uh, right now, I'm starting off with just the blush. I'm doing that, the classic e-girl blush with this one. And yeah, you just wanna blend this out. As I was done with all the creams on my face, I decided to set. I'm just using Sasha Buttercup on a beauty blender and I'm just setting mostly under my eyes, but I will try to do the rest of my face. I'm taking a bronzer now with that same brush. I swear to God, this is the only brush I really use, but um, I am now just bronzing up my face and just warming up all the contours of my face. I'm going in with another bronzer because I am extra um, and I'm basically just hitting the same points I did with the, the last bronzer. This is very unnecessary. You do not need to do this. Taking the same liquid lipstick I used for the blush, I'm putting this on my eyes now. Um, just as a pretty base for under the eyeshadow that we're going to use. Mm -hmm. 
and now we're zooming in for the eyes uh, so I'm using the same exact liquid lipstick I am just hitting the lower lash line so that everything looks nice and cohesive and I'm gonna blend that out with just a smaller brush Now I'm going inside the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I'm taking chocolate chip cookies and I'm putting that basically all over my lid. I'm starting off with a smaller brush and then I'm going to take a bigger blush, bit blush, brush, oh my god, just to blend everything out and to make it more smoky and neutral. Next, I'm taking my eyebrow pomade um, with just a liner brush, and I'm actually going to be using that as a line. Well, I don't even know. It's not really even liner, to be honest, because it's not a like a cohesive, like actual straight line. But I I'm just darkening up the lash line, I guess you can say. So now I'm taking a white liquid liner and I'm basically doing the outline of a wing liner but I'm not filling it in. This is from Joy's look from the Queen Dumb music video except without the skills because my hands be shaky as fuck but you know we trying over here we trying. Now I'm taking the same eyeliner um, brush that I used for my upper lash line and I'm trying to do the dots with this but this really did not work out. I just ended up using the actual um, liquid liner brush instead because yeah I don't know what I was trying to do. I thought it would be more precise but it just wasn't so yeah just skip the step and do it with the eyeliner instead. Next, I am adding some lashes. These are just by Kiss. They're a dummy wispy. And I'm adding some glue to my lash line as well as the strip lash so that they last a little bit longer. And I didn't really like how just the white dots looked on their own. Honestly, again, I have a very shaky hand. So I kind of wanted to cover it up with some glitter. And it kind of makes it a little bit extra. And it kind of looks like another look from the video as well. So I was like, you know what? let me do it uh these are nail like gems so i don't really know if they're like safe for your skin especially to be around your eye um so if you're gonna be trying this i would suggest to you know use some gems that are safe for your skin uh yeah but i just put them on with a little bit of lash glue i think it looks really cute So now I'm just applying the lashes and then I'm going to do the other side and we're almost done. Zooming back out, now I'm just going to set my face. I'm using that method I got from my last TikTok video. Um, I'm just adding the setting spray to my beauty blender and then I'm just going to pat that into my skin so everything looks nice and baked. Taking the same liquid lipstick we use for basically all over my face, I'm going to go back into my lips and actually use it for its intended purposes. Um, for the lip liner, I didn't have one at the desk, so I literally just used the same uh, brown eyeshadow I used for my eyes because I was lazy to get up, but I would suggest using a brown lip liner. Lastly, I'm taking the same liquid highlighter we used inside the beginning and just going over the high points of my face one last time. Yeah. 
and now the whole look is done all I gotta do is just brush out this wig and yeah everything is done So this is the end of the video. If you made it this far, thank you. Like the video if you like it, dislike the video if you dislike it, stop feedback. Definitely comment down below on what K-pop makeup looks I should try next. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was kind of super easy and kind of fun. I feel like sometimes when it comes to K-pop makeup, it's a little bit like like we've seen it we've seen it you know what i mean a little boring but this one i had a lot of fun with and i really do like their mini album my favorite song from there if y'all wondering is better be better be pose it's really good i love those two follow me on my instagram to see looks from this and also i post fashion all cosplay anime whatever talk on there as well follow me on my tiktok because i'm trying to use that platform more actively and i'd really um really appreciate if you guys interacted with that as well and yeah with that being said this is the end of the video i'll see you there and i'll see you next time and bye